Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today, we're in Matthew chapter 25, Matthew 25, and we're going to go ahead and read quite a few verses, read verses 1 through 13, as we read the, the parable of the ten virgins. I didn't know how to just break it up and just talk about a little portion of it. Um, so we'll read the whole thing. And so verse 1 says, The kingdom of heaven will be comparable to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, five were prudent. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the prudent took oil in the flask along with their lamps. Now while the bridegroom was delaying, they all got drowsy and began to sleep. But at midnight there was a shout, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the prudent, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the prudent answered, No, there will be, there will not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the dealers and buy some for yourself. And while they were going away, make the purchase of the bridegroom came. To make the purchase, the bridegroom came to those who were ready, went in with them to the wedding feast, and the door was shut. Later, the other virgins also came, saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know. But on the be on the alert then, for you do not know the day nor the hour. So as we uh, look at these verses, it's again another warning for us to always be ready. Be prepared. For when that day shall come. And as we take that warning, things that kind of just stuck out to me, just been reading it again this time, um, you know, is the fact that it doesn't mean you're always working, right? We're always to be alert, always to be ready. But notice that, that as time went by, there, there was a time of rest, right? They, 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 they all, it says they all fell asleep, even the, the prudent ones, even the ones who were prepared. Right, they they fell asleep also, but they they were already prepared before they took the time to rest before they fell asleep, and so when the time came, they were able to grab their lamps, light them, and go instead of being unprepared and saying, "Well, I can get my oil later, I can get my lamps ready later, or he'll probably come during the morning." And it was too late, and they had to go back and buy some, and they missed out. Right, the, the foolish virgins. Um, and so, and another point as you look through these is that as much as we have scripture that points out that we do want to share the word of God, right? We want to do all that we can to shine God's light, to teach others, to uh, let them know about our faith and our trust in God, that there also comes time in which our soul comes before others, right? So if they, these men had shared their oil and with the others, then they, they'd all ran out, and none of them would have been able to make it to the wedding feast. And so there comes a time where as much as we can do in teaching and shining God's light and extending the Lord's invitation to others, that we have to draw a line saying, well, I can't go this far, because if I go this far with you, then, then I will miss out myself. And that when, that's when it comes to you know maybe compromising your faith, uh, you know, allowing yourself to, well, to, you know, as many people say, well, I, I, I continue to be with them because I think I can influence them where the opposite is taking place. They're influencing you to step away from God. And so we have to know where to draw that line, right? To say, well, they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop swearing and cursing, dressing immodestly, telling dirty jokes, getting drunk, doing all these things of the world. And that influence is always on you. We have to make sure to draw that line at some point saying, I can't allow you to pull me away from God. I, I've extended the opportunity. I've tried to help you come closer to God. But we have to be willing to make sure that we stay with the Lord and not allow the world to drag us away from him. And so I think that's a, a good point as we look here because they, they weren't willing to share their oil because then they would have missed out. And so we can't compromise our faith. We want to be ready at all times for when that day comes. So I want to thank you for joining me. I hope everybody has a blessed day today. Lord's willing. I'll talk to you later.